Today we will do a couple of things. First thing is I will show you a little bit about Bitcoin, will explain you my thoughts on Bitcoin and Bitcoin price, what is going on. And as you remember guys, two days ago I gave you pretty much a signal on my Patreon Bitcoin prices and I have an update which I would like to share with you today. However, this will also not be a financial advice. Then I will give you two cryptocurrencies where I am investing and where I have been investing during this pullback. I will also talk a little bit about trading because many of you are asking where I am disappearing, why I am not like online, why I am not making videos and this is because of reason of trading. I am trading myself, I am trading futures on Binance. However, I'm not going to suggest it to anyone guys of you who are new and I know that 90% of people who are watching this video as you are absolutely new to cryptocurrencies and I would highly recommend you if you have no trading experience because obviously many of you don't have even investors experience because we have investor and trader and these are totally different things guys. If you are investor, you are not a trader and then there are people who are speculating on price and I could say that me myself I am somewhere in between speculator and the trader. However, I am doing day trading on Binance when these Bitcoin pullbacks are happening or Bitcoin is starting to sh shoot out guys because then markets are getting very volatile and I can catch this volatility and I can make rather good earnings guys and that's what I'm doing and that's why sometimes I'm not recording videos when these high moves on Bitcoin price are happening. <laughs> like I mentioned guys I would never ever recommend anyone 90% of you who are absolutely new and who have never been trading to do futures trading and leverage trading like trading on BitMEX or Bybit and so on and so forth because 100% I know that you will lose your money and that's why these cryptocurrency exchanges like Bybit or BitMEX they are giving you these huge rewards because they want you to pull in and once you are pulled in there they know for sure that you will lose because they have simple statistics guys that 90% of people who have no experience in trading they are losing their money so please keep away from BitMEX from futures if you want to start learning to trade then start with spot market simple spot market without using any leverage without using any futures because then there you don't have any time limitations firstly and when you are trading on spot market and not trading like perpetual contracts futures you don't have to pay the huge entry fees for the trade and huge exit fees for the trade it depends from platform to platform but usually when you are trading on margin when you are trading futures or pay Per, or perpetual contracts guys everywhere you have to pay a huge entry and exit fee so I use KuCoin or use Binance if you are using Binance or any other cryptocurrency exchange and start with spot trading if you want to get into trading I know it guys because I have been losing money approximately about two years until I worked out my own trading strategy before I started to become profitable and now I'm a profitable trader guys I know charts and most of you even don't know how to read charts or how to understand charts how to use chart indicators how to read chart patterns and so on and so forth so please keep away from this this is just my advice for absolutely newbies who who are here guys simply is the best way for you if you want to make money invest and hodl wait because anyways this is the first thing what you will need to learn and as investor you don't check price every day guys you have to understand that if you are investor you don't check price every day that's another huge thing which you have to understand because if you will be checking the price every day you are pretty much trying to be a trader if you are trying to be a trader you have to have a mentality of trader if you don't have a mentality of trader then by looking at price you will get destroyed and you will be get moved out of your position Position. For example, what I'm talking about is the same Bitcoin. If you have invested in Bitcoin, you know that bull market or the end of the bull market will be only at the end of the year. So buy Bitcoin and keep away from charts. You will not be wasting your time, you will not be wasting your energy, but you will be actually investor and you know that your target is approximately in second half of 2021 or pretty much at the end of 2021 because now we got bull market extended only because of this big bull pullback which we had recently which was 53% guys. So keep away from 
trading or keep away from charts keep away from looking at prices because that will destroy you and sooner or later the chart movements pretty much will make you to sell your bitcoin sell your altcoins and sell your cryptocurrencies so don't check prices every day if you are an investor better instead of watching charts i would recommend you to learn trading to understand watch as many videos as you can on trading spend your time with some purpose rather just watching on charts and i know what i'm talking about guys because at the very beginning i was also watching and always spending a lot of time in charts however whenever you are spending time by chart this is also called the chart time here in trading guys you gain experience and for example if you are watching chart for some particular asset whether it's a tesla stocks or whether it's a bitcoin you start feeling the chart you start understanding what is happening behind the chart and always whenever you are looking at price action on chart always try to understand what is happening behind the chart what is happening why these pullbacks are happening because everything like I showed you in one of my previous videos everything happens for a reason for example let's have a look at weekly chart actually I started rambling guys I'm not sure whether you are interested in these types of videos but in general I will give you a quick overview like I mentioned here you can see that here whales who are manipulating market bought up and now they pretty much distributed this market and then they were continuing to buy up guys and then now they are starting to distribute this market this means that they are starting to sell their bags because if they buy here guys you have to understand that they will be selling sooner or later or for example if you have invested and you made a two or three x or even five x guys you will be selling at some stage because obviously you want to take your profits and everybody takes their profits and if you are in market for longer and if you have bought up the price you as a trader you you don't care about the asset you don't care about Bitcoin what you care about is about profits and you understand that if you bought up this price and if many people many other people bought up here this price guys then sooner or later they will be selling and you will try to sell for as high price as possible and get out of the market and when prices will be pulling back you will be accumulating more of these assets however guys like I mentioned if you are not a trader if you don't have a trading mentality you don't have understanding about trading don't get close to trading that's just my advice to all newbies who are here try to learn instead of just wasting your time on by looking on charts if you don't understand anything because all these charts will destroy you out they will destroy you out of your positions and you will sell all your coins for cheap if you will be watching the charts without the mentality of trader and one of the main things about trader is guys it is mentality it is not what the charts are drawing it is not what uh, indicators are there but this is how you control your emotions and 80 percent of success of successful trader is its a mentality guys always remember this if you want to get into trading then get this as a very very first lesson guys that what will destroy you and your positions is you yourself not the charts not your positions not uh, indicators which you will be watching but your emotions because by looking at price action you will lose and you will be selling everything and that's why i am always recommending for those people who are here who have no experience in investing in trading guys and you want to just make your money on bitcoin just buy bitcoin and don't watch the charts don't watch what is going on in the markets because that will make you to sell your bags that will make you sell your bitcoins that will make you to sell your cryptocurrencies and i am just telling these guys because i see a lot of people now are panicking not so people now are complaining that everything is going down that prices are going down where is that promised uh, altcoin market and so on and so forth guys but this is how markets work and that's why i'm saying come back in second part of 2021 or at the end of 2021 because now we could have even a second pullback so now let's stop rambling and now let's get into chart and i will tell you what i think what is happening now
As you can he see here the resistance and I am seeing here kind of reverse head and shoulders pattern. However, couple of days I will show you this head and shoulders where I am seeing it. This could be like one shoulder, here we could see a head and here we are seeing another shoulder. And if it will break this re resistance or neckline, then we could do a confirmation and we could go up. However, it looks more like we are not going up and this price is losing its momentum because if you look here at volume guys at the very bottom, you can see that it is losing a volume. And two days ago when I told you that I think that we will see a massive pop, we saw that pump started and actually here I took a long position at 32,000 approximately pump started and here we are losing now momentum and this means that market could turn back and if market turns back I will expect Bitcoin price to come back to at least 35,000 however it could go back even to here which is $32,000 to shake out those people who again took a long positions price could range here a little bit to get more people into long positions and then we could come back down and this could not be the last pullback which we saw but in general what I think about is bull market over or it's not over so my opinion is that bull market is still not over we are still in the bull market and there will be a bull market there will be 100k bitcoin by the end of this year only now we got an extended bull market just my opinion guys not financial advice okay now we will talk about two cryptocurrencies which i am accumulating which i'm accumulating on all these pullbacks and which i have been accumulating here and this also made me very very busy guys if you are asking i am doing all these things i'm doing chart analysis i'm trying to record videos for you and i'm trying to uh, research markets i'm trying to invest and so on and so forth guys and it takes immense amount of time you might not think about it but only editing this video will take me about two or three hours guys for you just so you understand how much time all this takes now let's get into cryptocurrencies if we look at coin market caps then we have pretty much the same situation as you see dogecoin is keeping kind of strong but I, like I mentioned don't keep away from Dogecoin because there 11 million of Dogecoin is being mined every day so 11 million of new Dogecoin is being pumped into the market every day and I don't see this cryptocurrency to be sustainable and actually some people asked about Shiba Inu what is going on because as you remember guys I bought Shiba Inu at 0 0.002 so now I am 50% in loss with this cryptocurrency. However, I invested only $300 in this cryptocurrency, but when it fell to 0.7, I actually managed to invest. I accumulated 0.8. I didn't got in at in Shiba Inu at 0.7 because obviously that was almost at bottom but I got into 0.8 I invested another 300 dollars in this cryptocurrency and why I'm investing in this meme coin is just for fun guys because I like to invest in this cryptocurrency because there is a huge hype around this cryptocurrency and I believe that when we will continue to up back upwards guys this cryptocurrency will also be making gains however this is not what I wanted to mention and this is not one of those to cryptocurrencies which I wanted to mention this is just what you guys are asking to me on patreon by sending private messages so guys now let's talk about first one actually first one which I wanted to mention is Terra Luna this currently costs seven dollars I invested in this about almost five dollars I bought and added this cryptocurrency to my bags as you can see it was almost 21 dollar and then it has a huge pullback and now it is only seven dollar and I believe then when we Bitcoin will start moving back upwards guys this will also reach these price levels and next cryptocurrency which I wanted to mention is Solana guys currently it costs 36 dollars but like i mentioned guys solana is very sensitive to bitcoin price if bitcoin will be pulling back and i'm now just waiting however i already invested in low 20s 
and bought more Solana guys actually I love this cryptocurrency to my opinion Solana could be like next Ethereum killer because this is the fastest cryptocurrency or blockchain out there guys I mean the fastest so as recently this blockchain has been already added on Coinbase Pro which means that soon it will be also sold on Coinbase and when Coinbase will announce that it is also selling it for customers on simple Coinbase or Coinbase.com guys which most of you are using or most people are using all around the world then guess what this price could explode pretty much because this cryptocurrency on whoever do, does the research on Solana you will understand that this cryptocurrency has a huge future because this is the fastest cryptocurrency oh, oh sorry guys this is the fastest blockchain out there and this is not a review I will not be getting into Solana if you are interested go and check it out for yourself as this video has gone already for too long so yes guys let me know your thoughts in comments what do you think uh, should I talk more about my opinions on what I think about trading and so on and so forth guys but in this video I just wanted to express you or make you understand that there are three types of people who are in these markets first mar first people in this market is investors those just should be investing and don't look at the charts at all second part is traders this is like people who are trading who understand what they are doing and they trade the markets whether they are swing traders whether they are day traders whether they are just scalping the market and then we have third part or third type of people who are in these markets those are speculators and mostly so speculators who come in they lose money why because they usually try to gain money here in these markets guys without understanding what they are doing they are trying to buy high without even understanding what is high guys for example most of people don't understand simple indicator which is like RSI which always shows you when markets are high for example as you can see here here we are topping out and by the way guys another thing which I want to mention to you if you are starting to trade and if you would like to start to trade like I mentioned best is to start with spot trading spot trading means the trading without any leverages on cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance or KuCoin for example and if you are trading there then like myself how I started how I pretty much traded about two years previously a long time ago guys however that was on other, other exchanges that was in fund markets that was not in cryptocurrency markets because those who are watching my videos you know that I started my journey with fund markets with forex trading and so on and so forth and only then I moved into cryptocurrencies because of volatility because here markets are much fun much more fun and much more active and which means guys that for traders the volatility is everything when volatility is in market we can make profits if this moves as fund markets most of the assets guys want to maximum five percent a day guys it is very hard to make good gains but this is not about that what I mean is guys if you want to start to learn trading then like I mentioned watch videos on trading what people are talking about trading on chart patterns second thing what you could do is trade on spot markets on cryptocurrency exchange when RSI is at the top you sell everything when RSI is at the very bottom you buy this is like the easiest easiest way how you could see where are the bottoms and where are the tops of the market and how you could spot the best price how to enter particular asset so when RSI is at the very bottom when it is oversold well price is oversold these are the places where are the best prices to buy to buy for cheap and when it is oversold uh, at the very top this is the best time to sell however here you also have to understand divergences how the price divergence works how are side with price action divergence works but I will not be, be getting into that this is just uh, my advice for those who want to start trading to understand or when when you are ex entering markets this could be the easiest way to spot the cheapest price for which you can buy asset is when RSI is at the very bottom so as you have to watch at the time frames and there is much much more things in trading which you have to understand like now I'm in one hour time frame and here as you can see we are moving back 
backwards however this could also turn back up if you want more in-depth videos on trading let me know in comments guys but i will not be getting into this right now so yes guys i hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one